Alpha Babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kalei. I'm back with a video that I've been trying to get done for a while and I just haven't. So I'm going to be sharing my favorites so far for my pregnancy. There are some things that have changed skin wise and just things that have helped me um, as I get bigger. I'm pretty big. You want to see? Hold. <laughs> Woo! This baby is huge. Front view, side view. That was tiring in itself. And yes, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath until I give birth to this kid, unfortunately. I'm just gonna share some of my favorites because I do have some mamas here on my channel and new subscribers who are moms who subscribe because I'm pregnant and you're probably currently pregnant either almost out of your pregnancy, heading into your pregnancy. I pray to God that you're heading out of your pregnancy. I pray to God that I'm heading out of my pregnancy. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with some face stuff because my skin has changed a lot, drastically. It's more on the normal drier side. So I can get away with wearing dewy foundations. I can get away with looking oily even though i'm not oily now i actually like my skin right now i don't like having oily skin i have been incorporating newer skincare products because the ones um, that i have been using was oily like the mattifying ones it makes my skin too matte so i've been using the olay regenerous michael micro sculpting cream and it keeps me looking as young as possible even though i'm getting older um, so I've been incorporating this. I've had this for like four months, I want to say. I have an Olay video coming up. I partnered with them on some content. So I have like this cool little thing that, I'll, that I'm going to be doing with them. So stay tuned for that video. I revert to Olay products anyway because of just the way my skin is with my first pregnancy with my daughter. I used Olay products as well because they were the only ones that worked for the skin that I have now. So I've had this skin before, but I didn't realize how blessed I was until this time around. Also, I've been trying to keep my skin hydrated because this baby is sucking the living life out of it. So I've been using my Clinique Moisture Surge. I've shared this on my channel before. It's more like a gel consistency. I've been using this a lot as well because of how dry my skin is. Those are like my favorite, I guess, face things that I've been using that I've changed. For my body, I've been using, you know when you burp? If you've ever been pregnant and you burp and your gag re reflexes aren't that great, so you're not sure if the burp is going to turn into something else, that's where I am. That's where I've been this entire time, so I'm kind of like... Okay, I'm not gonna throw up. <laughs> but anyways, for my body, because I am experiencing dry skin, it's not just on my face, it's my entire body, which I don't mind the skin. I really wish that I could have this skin always. I've been using this from Victoria's Secret. My sister actually told me about this. Shout out to my sister, Koo. She was like, oh my gosh, Kalei, you have to try this. This is the most amazing body scrub. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I've tried so many body scrubs. I've made body scrubs here on my channel. And there's just a certain consistency and feel that I wanna have after I'm done scrubbing my body. This gives it to me. This is from Victoria's Secret. It's called Coconut Milk. It's a part of their cotton moisture complex. It's smells it smells so good this is like one of the rare scents that i can actually use and i'm not tired of it but i just really love the consistency of it it leaves you with a thin you might not like this if you're not into like feeling like oily if that makes sense but it leaves like a thin film over your skin sort of comparable to if you put like olive oil and sugar together it kind of leaves that thin nice hydrating film if you don't like that you probably won't like this but i like that feeling and it just makes my legs and my body look so glowy i also have been using the super soft body butter from the same line same fragrance um and i use this for my tummy I'm been, i've been using a lot of stuff for my stomach and my thighs and my butt and my boobs and my arm everything so i've been using this this is a less greasy feeling body butter it's pretty thick but it doesn't feel super thick if you know what i'm saying can't really use a lot of products that have certain scents because my pregnancy scent is just so like right now 
I smell something, I don't know where it is, but it's driving me insane. And that's probably why I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but I'm not. Also for my body, I've been using oils. I've been using a lot of stuff for my stomach because I'm trying to make sure that I reduce the amount of stretch marks that I get. Did not get them during my entire pregnancy with my daughter, but I got them after because I ate and just didn't care because I didn't eat for like nine months, almost nine months. It wasn't the full nine months. I gave birth to her at like 30, 36 weeks I think so I didn't eat for like that whole entire time because I was throwing up every single day um, like this pregnancy and um, I didn't get any stretch marks but I also did not use anything and I was a lot smaller my body was like a lot smaller than what I am now but this time around I'm like okay I need to do something to prevent just in case however I do understand that stretch marks are genetic and if like your mom gets them or like your grandmother or something like that gets them you're more than likely to get them I understand that but I'm trying to help my stomach stretch in a way to where it's not painful and itchy because I'm really itchy what is that smell at night I'll use this this is a little greasy this is called the cocoa butter formula skin therapy oil from Palmer's I got this and then I also got this excuse me this cream which I'm done with the cream I used it all but I really like the cream and then I've also been using this sky organics a hundred percent pure organic sweet almond oil and they have a shea butter that I've also been using it's like a box it's an organic DIY box and um, they've been sending me products before I knew I was pregnant and I was like, what am I going to use this for? And then when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, hallelujah. So um, I've been using this on my belly a lot. I really, really like the brand. Everything is natural. Again, you have to be careful with what you apply to your body because it absorbs and baby can get some of it. If I have to choose an oil, I would choose this over this one. I don't know why. I just like the feel of this one more than this one. But I still use them all because... I ain't taking no chances. I'm gonna do my best. And if I get them, I get them. Oh well, I know how to get rid of them. I've had them before. But anything that I can do to kind of minimize the amount of damage that my body is going to do while stretching and just being itchy. It's the worst being pregnant in the summertime and then you're itchy. Moving on to some things for my nausea. I'm surprised I'm actually filming today because I didn't feel very good this morning. But anyways, I've been using, again, from Sky Organics. They sent over like a, like a peppermint oil. And this, I was reading, it was saying that, oh, that smells good. Peppermint oil helps with nausea. Like it kind of helps with that stuff. So I just usually just take it and I just sniff it for bed or if I'm feeling really nauseous. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I have also been drinking a lot of water. You have to drink a lot of water when you are pregnant. With my daughter, I had a very low amniotic fluid because I was throwing up all the time, obviously. So I had to play catch up. I had to like catch up with uh, drinking water and like with my fluids. So this time around, I was like, I'm not gonna let that happen because my doctor was like, you need to drink like this amount of water by this date. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna do that? My husband bought this for me. It's like one of those thermos cups and it has a straw because I can't drink water or beverages like regular from a cup because it makes me sick. So I have to drink, excuse me, from a straw. So I've been loving this. This is with me all the time, every day, all day. Also, get a lot of heartburn. A lot of heartburn. It's so bad sometimes. Sometimes like it's like nausea, vomiting, heartburn, and then my stomach is like huge and I can't get comfortable. I'm in the stage where nothing is comfortable. So then I have to take something for the heartburn. So I have to take Pepto, Pepto-Bismol. This is the kid's version because I have the adult version and I throw this up every single time, but I still have it just in case. But I keep the kid's one with me and I take that with me. I take like two. I also have Tums, which I'm always taking. I'm on like my third bottle of Tums. My doctor says all of those are okay, but the bad thing about it is it makes you constipated. So there's that. Those are all, are those all? Yeah, those are all of my first and second trimester 
must-haves for me currently if you are pregnant or planning on getting pregnant this might not necessarily be what you need you might have a really great pregnancy which I hope that for everyone but for those of you who are like me who have violent children growing inside of you sucks everything out of you um, those really helped me food wise I can't really say anything because I can't like I'm not on a solid like craving i'll crave something for like a week and then i'm over it and then i'm throwing it up the next week so food wise i can't really say anything just try to eat a lot of fiber but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was pretty chatty i know it was pretty long i would love it if you would subscribe to my youtube channel um let me know what pregnancy video you would like to see next i plan on doing another update i might do like one more update because i did my second one already which i'll link below i don't know if you want to see i did a maternity lookbook i did pregnancy update i did like the makeup that i'm currently wearing not now but um on my day to day if there is anything that you would like to see let me know and i will do my best to get that up whenever my body says, okay, Kalei, I'll give you a break today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love you, Alphas. Thank you so much for taking time to watch for all of your support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!